Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, we're going to be continuing our Amazon Soap Fest. I'm going to be testing and reviewing, I hope I'm saying this right, Kavan Clean Premium Car Wash Shampoo. As I've said before on a lot of our other car soaps that we've tested, I've never heard of this car, uh, particular car wash before. Uh, it says, and they make it very plain, that this is plant a powerful plant-based surfactant that will encapsulate dirt and oil, will not strip existing wax, leaves a sparkling spot-free finish, safe for all automotive finishes. All right, so the dilution ratio is the same that we've come to really expect on our Amazon Soap Fest. It's one ounce per gallon. So I'll be using our MTM submachine gun style foamer for the foam portion of the test. I'll be using two ounces of the Kavan Clean and 10 ounces of warm water. Then we'll switch to our bucket test where I will use three ounces of this car wash in three gallons of water. There's really nothing impressive or different on this label other than they make it very plain also that it's proudly made in the USA. And also it's got the actual ingredients which is not something you usually see on a bottle of car soap. That's usually what you see on something that you eat. So please do not try to eat this. It's about, uh, I don't know, 70 degrees outside right now. There's a, it's sunny, there's a little bit of a light breeze. So uh, it's good, good testing conditions to uh, see what this Kavan Clean can do. I'm kind of excited to, to try this. You know, this, maybe this is that perfect 10 that we're looking for. I don't know, I hope so. Uh, anyway, enough blabbing from my mouth here. Let's go outside and see what the Kavan Clean can do. All right, so there is a lot of sap on the car. Seeing as it's springtime here, it's going to really put the Adams liquid paint sealant to the test. I mean, it feels like feel like sandpaper, but all right. I've got two ounces of our Kavan Clean, ten ounces of warm water. Let's see how this foams. All right, what we've got here is a mixture of extremely fine micro bubbles with medium uh, size bubbles here. Maybe a hint of lubrication. It does appear to be running pretty quick. It go it does go on nice and thick. This is one of those one of those car foams that that goes on and then self levels. So it kind of looks like it's been coated with a a thick latex or rubberized um, type of you know coating.
All right, so we're gonna come back in six minutes. We're gonna see two things. We're gonna see number one, if the Kavan Clean removed our non-bonded contaminants and also if it does any harm to our Adams liquid paint sealant. Okay, here we are six minutes later and I'm gonna say we probably have 85% coverage left on the hood, windshield, and top. And over on this side, eh, 25% maybe or so. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and rinse this and see what the Kavan Clean can do to the non-bonded contaminants and if it did any harm to the Adams liquid paint sealant. So, we can definitely see that the Kavan Clean has not harmed our Adams liquid paint sealant. And, wow. All right, still there's sap on the car for sure. And we don't expect it to remove that. However, This has done a really, it's done a really nice job on the non-bonding contaminants. Yeah. Well, I think that as a foam, the Kavan Clean, I'm gonna say is a solid eight. It, it, the only thing it suffers from, I think maybe is a little bit of lack of lubrication, but We'll find that out when we actually when we do our actual hand bucket test. But as a foam, definitely an eight. Okay, so let me get everything set up and we'll see what kind of foamage the Kavan Clean makes in a bucket and then we'll test it on the Accord and a hand wash. Okay, so the Kavan Clean, we're going to put three ounces in our bucket here. It's got about approximately three gallons of water. This is a very, very, very viscous, almost jelly-like. It's an emerald green car soap and it really, in fact, I'm going to have to get my finger in there to get it all out. Um, it's, it's really weird how viscous this is. It's almost like jello. It doesn't have much of a scent at all to it, to be quite honest. Um, you guys know I could care less about that, but it would have been kind of neat that maybe this was scented like an apple green or something like that. But anyway. All right, so as we've shown in our other tests, when you have a car soap that is that viscous, coming out of the bottle. It's gonna sit on the bottom until we agitate it with our pressure washer. And it kind of looks like algae sitting there. And there may be just a bare hint of some lubrication from what I just mixed up there. So let's get the pressure washer agitated and see what kind of foam it makes.
Okay, so um, just looking at the bubble structure, initially it's very, it's a very pretty stable bubble structure. It's not breaking up, even with the light breeze here. It's mostly small and medium cell bubbles here, and there is there is some lubrication in here. That's good. It's a little different. It's not. I don't know how I can articulate this. It's maybe because this is plant-based that has something to do with it. It's it, there's a lot of lubrication here. It's just I don't know. It's not greasy feeling as you would get in most other car soaps. It almost feels like a water-based hand lotion. This is the only way I can describe it. So anyway, that's a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and get our four mitts and we will do a hand wash on the Accord and see what kind of performance we can get out of it in that scenario. All right, guys, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Kavan Clean Premium Car Wash Shampoo. I think it did a really nice job as a hand wash. I'm going to give it an 8 also. So it gets an 8 as a foam and an 8 as a hand wash. The thing that I like about this, excuse the wind, about this car soap is that the soap solution is very, very durable, meaning that when I start my cleaning procedure on this end and go all the way to the end of the panel the soap solution even though there's less volume in the mitt because it's constantly draining out is still pretty much just as effective or it feels as effective it doesn't uh it doesn't seem to weaken if that makes sense i know that that can be a little hard to understand but uh, it, it's it's got good lubrication in it i tell you what I'm going to say this, the, let me open this, the mitts that I use, and I've shown you guys these before, uh, really like this soap. And the best way that I can explain it is that the fibers in the wash pad seem to really hold on to the, uh, the suds, the soap solution really really well as opposed to maybe uh, you know if you were perhaps doing it with a microfiber cloth which sometimes I do uh, but I like using those wash pads better so I'm thinking I'm thinking this is uh, this is a good one guys it's a good solid one that's what I'm gonna say it's it's not the 10 that we're looking for but I'm we're still looking okay I'm hopefully hopefully we'll be able to find that eventually but I will say this is a good solid car soap and I will be using it again. I'm gonna put a link in the description of the Amazon where I bought it. If you guys would like to try it, I would suggest um, that you do so. It's, it's a really good addition to your wash bucket. So I am going to um, put all those links in the bottom. I appreciate everybody supporting the channel. This is a viewer 
supported channel. If you'd like to donate, make a financial donation via PayPal, there's a link in the description box that will help fund uh, some additional tests of additional products. Guys, thank you very much. I will see you on the next video.